Hi everyone, and welcome to Morning Devotions. Hope everybody's doing good today. Um, I'll be fine. I've still got some pain and stuff going on, but I'll be... I've been worse. So, I'm just going to hang in there. Okay, uh, we've got a rather long list today, and that happens sometimes. You know, sometimes, uh, you know, naturally everybody would hope that we wouldn't have a whole lot, you know, but sometimes there just seems like a lot going on with everybody, and uh, that's what's happened, you know, especially yesterday. I don't know how many I got yesterday. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got ten, ten alone yesterday request so uh, this is this is all that we need to pray for right here i mean not all i mean all the ones that we need to pray for on the prayer list okay kds has an unspoken request and flower child also has an unspoken request sandy p's been having problems over the loss of her husband and Lynn's son Raymond's not not much better. He's still not eating well. Tweet's grandson has an unspoken request. Kim's aunt Linda was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. Diane's son-in-law Greg is back in the hospital. They fear he is getting worse. Pray for Mark Rob. He hurt his back. Patty's husband needs continued prayers. He is retaining fluid in his legs and feet and has a bed sore. And that's awful. And, uh, so, you know, Logan has a lot of fluid in his feet still. But not, it's a little bit better, but they're still, you can tell, he can't even fit in his shoes still. He has to wear slippers. Arlene's friend Teresa has the flu. And Arlene's friend... Kendra needs healing. Patricia is home now but in pain. <clears throat> Joy's friend Becky is in the hospital with pneumonia. <clears throat> Excuse me. Eli is a boy and he has an infection. He looks like he, uh, I, I think he looked like maybe, I can't tell if age is good. He's young, uh, real young. You know, he's not a teenager. Uh, has an infection on his brain and, and, his, and his bloodstream. Pray for healing. And Matthew, pray the Lord will soften his heart and mind. Okay. What do I do with the... Oh, I lost my bookmark. That's right. Okay, today our Bible reading comes from Isaiah 1, 15 through 20. When you spread out your hands in prayer, I hide my eyes from you. Even when you offer many prayers, I am not listening. Your hands are full of blood. Wash and make yourself clean. Take your evil deeds out of my sight. Stop doing wrong. Learn to do right. Seek justice. Defend the oppressed. Take up the cause of the fatherless, plead the case of the widow. Come now, let us settle the matter, says the Lord. Though, though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they were red as crimson, they shall be like wool. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good things of the land. But if you resist and rebel, you will be devoured by the sword, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Our devotion today is entitled The Miracle of White Snow. In the 17th century, Sir Isaac Newton used a prism to study how light helps us see different colors. He found that when light passes through an object, the object appears to possess a specific color. While a single ice crystal looks translucent, snow is made up of many ice crystals smashed together. When light passes through all of the crystals, snow appears to be white. 
the Bible mentions something else that has a certain color, sin. Through the prophet Isaiah, God confronted the sins of the people of Judah and described their sin as like scarlet and as red as crimson. But God promised they would be as white as snow. How? Judah needed to turn away from wrongdoing and seek God's forgiveness. Thanks to Jesus, we have permanent access to God's forgiveness. Jesus called himself the light of the world and said whoever follows him will never walk in darkness but will have the light of life. When we confess our sins, God forgives us and we're seen through the light of Christ's sacrifice the light of Christ's sacrifice on the cross. This means that God sees us as he sees Jesus, blameless. We don't have to wallow in the guilt and shame of what we've done wrong. Instead, we can hold on to the truth of God's forgiveness, which makes us white as snow. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I want to pray for everybody on the prayer list today. We've got a lot of people that have different problems. Please help all of them with each of them. And help anybody else out there that needs it, Lord. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you enjoyed this morning's devotions. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that... Uh-oh, my bell's about to need fixed. <laughs> okay, everybody. Have a great day and God bless. And I'll see you on morning coffee break. Bye-bye.